unrestricted travel, panic over the risk of infection, continuous flow of negative news and scarcity of day-to-day -day materials and resources due to the corona pandemic are all adding to the growing anxiety. Being confined to our homes can be mentally challenging. Besides staying connected to family and friends and maintaining a healthy lifestyle and other two main things that can help to keep our anxiety and mental health in check are yoga and music. Namaste to one and all. Today, the 21st of June, being the International Day of Yoga and World Music Day, we welcome you all to watch and enjoy our program. As every occasion means the blessing of the Almighty, let us start our program with a prayer. The Yoga Sutras of Patanjali is a collection of Sanskrit Sutras on the theory and practice of yoga. Now, Teja will be reciting the Patanjali Yoga Sutra. Adha Yoga Nushasanam Yoga Shchitta Vritti Nirodaha Tada Drashtu Swarupe Vasthanam Vritti Sarupya Midaratra Vrithaya Panjataya Krishta Krishtaha Pramana Viparyaya Vikalpa Nidrasmudayaha And now the self-discipline of yoga. Yoga is to still the patterning of consciousness. Then pure awareness can abide in its very nature. Otherwise, awareness takes itself to be the patterns of consciousness. There are five types of patterns, including the good ones and the bad ones. They are light perception, misperception, conceptualization, deep sleep, and memory. Thank you, Teja, for the wonderful enchantment of the Yoga Sutra threads. It was a tranquilizing experience. Next, I would like to invite Tara to give a speech on Yoga and Music Day. International Yoga Day. Yoga is a tool to reveal the self. It has been derived from the Sanskrit root yuj, which means to yoke or to join together. The real essence of yoga is about transcending all limitations. Yoga is an empirical science and philosophy aimed at understanding life's most important questions. Yoga is an art, a science and a philosophy. It touches the life of man at every level, physical, mental and spiritual. It is a practical method for making one's life purposeful, useful and noble. The International Day of Yoga has been celebrated annually on 21st June since 2015, following its inception in the United Nations General Assembly in 2014. Yoga is a physical, mental and spiritual practice which originated in India. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his UN address suggested the date of 21st June as it is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere and shares a special significance in many parts of the world. Yoga is an invaluable gift of India's ancient tradition. Did you know that Americans practicing yoga has grown by over 50% in the last four years? Almost 72% of yoga practitioners are women. Yoga is the most commonly used complementary health approach in the US. Most statistics show that one in three Americans have tried yoga at least once. This shows us that Americans understand the benefit of yoga much more than we do. We in India are simply wasting one of our country's greatest cultural signs. All this necessitates the need for us to protect our yogic knowledge for a better life. Thank you Tara for a wonderful speech. The practice of yoga 
one learns to accept rather than deny emotions. From suffering, we move to acceptance and connecting to ourselves. Our heart is at peace in this way. These are the quotes of Srimadhi Prabhakrishna, a renowned yoga therapist. She is a multifaceted personality who combines ancient wisdom with modern thinking in her endeavor. After completing her M-Farm, she pursued a career in medical line. Subsequently, she connected her life into Yoga Bharati, making a great transformation in her life. It's a great experience for everyone to hear and enrich her experience. Namaste everyone. Namaste to all the children here and a very, very happy Yoga Day to all of you. I'm sure you all would be excited to hear what is Yoga Day all about. You know, so everyone, you know, for the past four, five years, you've been hearing International Day of Yoga, just like any other Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day. What is this Yoga Day all about? So this is where I want to, you know, talk about a very small tidbits about yoga, yoga and how yoga will help play a role in whatever you are doing in your life. Is yoga all about only doing your one hour of yoga asanas? Are you all thinking that? So I am I just want to break that absolute misconception that yoga is not only about doing shishasana and doing all the complicated asanas which you see in the social media. It's not an acrobatic uh, exercise at all. It is not an exercise at all. Yoga is a way of life. It is about bringing about samatva, bringing about an equilibrium in your life. And how is this bringing equilibrium in your life? You may wonder. So this is where I, Prabha Krishna, I am the secretary and the senior yoga therapist at Yoga Bharati Bangalore, would like to give some tidbits about what is yoga. And yoga and mindfulness is what I, I want to talk to you all about. So just uh, hold on, let me share the screen. So I'm sure you all are able to see the screen now. Mindfulness. So what is mindfulness? You all will be wondering, okay, is this, what is this mindfulness? And okay, uh, am I thinking my mind is full? So it's, I'm mindful. So is, is that called mindful? There is a difference between you would have seen um, mindful and mindful, right? <laughs> so yes, there is. Uh, so you would see two people here having different lots of thoughts in their brain and two people here having very, very less number of thoughts. So there is a difference between how we are thinking, whether are we mindful or full of mind, <laughs> right? And yoga helps us to ensure that we are more mindful, we are more present at the moment. And that is what children, I want you to think about when you are attending a class, are you present in the moment? Are you being aware or being interested in what the teacher is talking to you about? Is it all about only the examinations, the final exams I have to get a first rank and all the hundreds out of hundred? Is it all about that? This is where you all need to be thinking about is, how is your mind when you are attending a session? How is your mind when you are talking to someone? So let us think, what is mindfulness? And this is all about yoga, mind and body awareness. So what is yoga bringing you about? Mind and body awareness. So that is when you are present, when you are doing some activity, any activity of your choice, whether you're doing your homework, whether you are listening to a lecture, whether you're doing your, uh, you know, an uh, examination, is your mind and body being present, being aware is important, very, very important. And that applies in when you're doing your yoga asanas also. When you are doing your yoga asana, are you watching TV and doing it? Are you watching your favorite TV show and then doing your yoga poses, then it is not bringing about mind awareness, is it? So are you uh, being ensuring that you are breath, you are mindful of what is happening to your body and the mind when you are doing a yoga pose? And that is what is yoga all about. Moment by moment awareness of thoughts also running. When you are in any activity, if you think, even if you're doing a yoga pose or any activity, there are so many thoughts running. It is like a circuit. You know, thoughts keep jumping. That is why they call it as a monkey mind. Mind is always called as a monkey mind and so many thoughts keep running, isn't it? So, and sometimes when you are tensed, when you're about to write an examination, you find your hands getting cold, you find yourself shivering, you find yourself getting blank. So you feel aware of what is your bodily sensation sometimes when different thoughts are happening, when you're angry, your body, your mind gets flushed up, your body gets red in color. 
and you can't think what is right or wrong and when you are very very depressed you feel suddenly cold and sometimes shiver when you're scared different bodily sensations so this is what is mindfulness is yoga teaches you to bring about mindfulness to be aware of all these things you know and this is beautiful cycle where either awareness is there are you there in the present moment are you accepting the present moment because so many things have happened for the past last year right you all not have been attending a regular school you are all attending uh, online classes are you aware are you being in the present moment have you accepted that yeah i know this corona is there this covid is there when it goes i will be able to go oh it's so bad are you in the mode of you know non acceptance so this is where we need to be become aware that how am i aware of what is happening in me so just take every day a moment of your time whenever you get very angry with your friend think okay are you aware what's happening oh i am getting angry because so and so this person is doing this because teacher is telling me this because that person is bullying me so become aware of what's happening and that becomes a very very important tool for you to control or manage yourself and acceptance what is acceptance taking it as it comes so this is where we also need to know the adaptability in our acceptance of the situation right around us isn't it or maybe at home you might have lots of problems because of covid you might have to go through lot of tensions and all that so try to keep telling in your mind that i accept that this is what is happening right now it will pass let there let there be peace in the humanity let there be peace within me it is so that is how it is going to be this is what yoga is all teaching you about it is raining it is raining oh i don't like rain i wish it was not raining my day would have been better i can't play my day is ruined if you keep thinking like that you will feel more and more depressed or you say oh it's raining shall i do something here maybe i can think of some other way to activate my mind or keep my uh, keep myself engaged this is way acceptance happens so foundation is you are being aware of the body you are being aware of the mind you being aware of what all feelings are going through you right and this is where children i want you all to become aware what feelings you're going through something happens your mom is telling you something immediately you get so angry or so so depressed so what is happening you need to be aware of that and i want you all to be understanding how you could be mindful through the day when you wake up think about it when you wait for the session to happen keep fiddling your fingers when is the teacher coming when is the teacher when will i get a chance you know that is where you want to be so calm down there try to think each time your feelings are getting up to uh, uh, you know uh, um, uplifted like that in a different way say that okay can i calm down maybe you could keep a reminder say can i remember to be mindful for some time all regular activities whatever you are doing i know teachers also will be hearing whatever you are doing whenever you take a break try to become mindful of that so sometimes mind wanders it's fine so keep trying to bring it back and try to bring your awareness Just try to stop all the rumination of thoughts you know this is how you are enjoying most of the time what will happen all of us no either we think about what happened in the past we think oh i should not have done that i should have spoken like that i should have done like that i did like this like this or you will be thinking about the present no when i, I should do that no i i have to become like that i have to do like that there is always a you keep planning for the future or planning uh, you know regretting the past what you need to do is enjoy the present moment whether you are at home whether you are in your grandma's home or whatever you are doing are you enjoying the present moment is what i want you to think about and are you simply worrying about the past are you getting worried are you getting guilty are you having a revengeful attitude are you getting very very angry or depressed so try to think about what all is happening and try to spend some quality time with yourself and others so this is how it will develop an attitude of take it as it comes okay so this is where i want you all to become aware that how yoga is going to be helping you so whenever your class has a yoga class think that can i be in the present moment can i be ensuring that i do yoga with mindfulness i do yoga not only in the one hour class i do yoga all through the day yoga is a way of life i want all of you children to remember that i hope uh, this is a wonderful lesson to all of you thank you so much and wish you a very very happy and prosperous and abundant future thank you Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your knowledge about yoga with us. I'm delighted to welcome Sri Sanidhanandan, a popular playback singer. He came into limelight 
in 2007 when he participated in a singing reality show, Star Singer. I'm sure he will entertain us with his music. Hello everyone, it's June 21st. ലോക സംഗീത ദിനമാണ് അല്ലേ എല്ലാ ദിവസവും സംഗീതം തന്നെയാണ് സംഗീതമില്ലാത്ത ഒരു നിമിഷത്തെ കുറിച്ചോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു പാട്ട് കേൾക്കാത്ത ഒരു ദിവസത്തെ കുറിച്ചോ നമുക്ക് ചിന്തിക്കാൻ പോലും ആവില്ല സംഗീതം ഭൂവിൽ നരജീവിതം കാലവും ജനിമൃതി ഭേദവും സുഗമമൊരാലാപനം സുന്ദരം ആലാപനത്തിനെ സുന്ദരമാക്കുന്നത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഓരോ ജീവിതത്തെയും മനോഹരമാക്കുന്നത് സംഗീതമാണ് ഓരോ നിമിഷത്തിലും നടക്കുന്ന അപൂർവ മുഹൂർത്തങ്ങളെല്ലാം സംഗീതവുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ടതായിരിക്കും അങ്ങനെ നമുക്ക് സംഗീതം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യത്തെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഒഴിവാക്കാൻ പറ്റില്ല അല്ലേ പ്രവാഹമേ ഗംഗാ പ്രവാഹമേ ഒരു ഗംഗാ പ്രവാഹം പോലെ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒഴുകിക്കൊണ്ടേയിരിക്കുകയാണ് കാലങ്ങൾക്കും ഋതുക്കൾക്കും ഭേദമില്ലാതെ എല്ലാ ഋതുവിലും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എല്ലാ കാലത്തിൻ്റെ അവസ്ഥയിലും സംഗീതം ഇങ്ങനെ ഒഴുകിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് അപ്പം മഹാമാരി വന്നപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ സംഗീതത്തിനെയാണ് കൂട്ടുപിടിച്ചത് അതാ പറയുക എന്താ പറയുക ലോകം മുഴുവൻ സുഖം പകരാനായി ലോകം മുഴുവൻ സുഖം പകരാനായി സ്നേഹദീപമേ മിഴി തുറക്കൂ സംഗീതത്തിലൂടെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ആ എന്താ പറയുക സമാധാനം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ലക്ഷ്യം കണ്ടെത്തുന്നത് ജീവിതമാണെങ്കിലും സംഗീതമേ ജീവിതം അപ്പോൾ എല്ലാവർക്കും ലോക സംഗീത ദിന ആശംസകൾ എന്താ പറയുക കലയുള്ള മനസ്സിൽ ഒരിക്കലും കലാപം ഉണ്ടാവില്ല നമ്മളെല്ലാവരും കലയുള്ള ഒരു ഹൃദയമാണെങ്കിൽ ഹൃദയമുള്ളവരാണെങ്കിൽ കലാഹൃദയമുള്ളവരാണെങ്കിൽ കലാപത്തിൽ നിന്നും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മറ്റ് പല വിദ്വേഷങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും നമ്മൾ മാറി നിൽക്കും അല്ലേ എല്ലാവർക്കും കലയുണ്ടാവട്ടെ എല്ലാവർക്കും അത് ആസ്വദിക്കാനുള്ള ഒരു മനസ്സുണ്ടാവട്ടെ ഭാരതീയ വിദ്യാഭവൻ പോട്ടോർ സ്കൂളിലെ എല്ലാ കുട്ടികളായ കൂട്ടുകാർക്കും അധ്യാപകർക്കും അനധ്യാപകർക്കും എൻ്റെ ഹൃദയം നിറഞ്ഞ സംഗീത ദിന ആശംസകൾ എപ്പോഴും സംഗീതമുള്ള ജീവിതമാവട്ടെ എല്ലാവരുടെയും സംഗീത സാന്ദ്രമായ ഏത് പ്രതിസന്ധിയിലും നമുക്ക് സമാധാനിക്കാൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ലക്ഷ്യം കണ്ടെത്താൻ സംഗീതം നമ്മുടെ കൂടെ ഉണ്ടാവട്ടെ ഒരായിരം നന്ദി സ്നേഹപൂർവ്വം സ്വന്തം സന്നിധാനന്ദൻ Time to see some of the drawings of the students of our school with the melodious instrumental music played by Devaj.
a joy for our eyes and ears. Mm. 